Hey, Gary, how are things? Things are great, but I crushed my mortgage payment with owning without even leaving my couch. I got a no closing cost refi at a great low rate, and owning did it all in less than three weeks. It was easy. No muss, no fuss. Be like Gary. Call owning at 855-5-OWNING and crush your mortgage payment with today's 15-year fixed refi at 1.875% rated APR with no closing costs. None. Zero. Even if you've refinanced recently, call 855-5-OWNING and let us crush your monthly payment even more. That's 855-5-OWNING or log on to owning.com. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, subject to credit approval. Call 833-852-6464 for terms and conditions. You can crush it, too, with a 15-year fixed 1.875% rate in APR with absolutely no closing cost. All right, let's clear this garage. Start a pile here for donations, one over here for recycling, and one more over here for trash. Hang on, what are you doing? Recycling? We may need that paint one day, and that can't be recycled. First, this can looks older than me. And second, paintcare.org says you can. Paintcare.org. Let me see. Oh, and there's a drop-off site close by. And it's free? Nice. Dad, no. It is the Fan Morning Show every Wednesday during the football season. The entire 9 o'clock hour we're lucky enough to spend with Doug Whaley starting today. Former Buffalo Bills GM, worked for years in the Steelers front office as well. So you're intimately aware, Doug, of what the process is like when you've got a franchise player uh, getting ready to play the final year of his rookie deal. He's a first-round pick, so you got the fifth-year option. He's playing it out, and it's time to work out an extension. And you've worked in the Steelers front office, so you know that extension better get signed before kickoff week one so what is the process going to be like over the next four to five weeks between Kevin Colbert Art Rooney the second the Pittsburgh Steelers and TJ Watt and his agent well first of all uh from what I've been hearing Steelers fans should be very optimistic because the first thing you want to do when you're in this situation is have get in contact with his representative his agent and say do you want to get this deal done or what, what do you want to accomplish out of this deal? How early do you make that call? Did Kevin Colbert make that call la- last year and say, hey, I want you to know it's front burner for us when we get to the offseason? You, you're, you're constantly communicating, yeah. especially when you have a guy with this caliber. It's like, hey, listen, keeping him up to date of where we are as an organization and the timeline of when we think we can at least approach them and then obviously when we'd like to get it done, which is well known in the NFL circles. So you talk to the agent and say, what do you want to accomplish out of this deal? And if they say, hey, we want to be there and we want to get the deal done, you're like, great. The rest is just hammering out the details. Okay, just stop there for a minute. Hammering out the details. Who floats? You've been in this room. You've mm-hmm. had a nice shirt. You, you went to Heinz Healy or whatever. You got this shirt pressed. You're in the you're in the boardroom. You're there. Some guy flies in in a private jet. Mm-hmm. He sits down. You sit down. You're across this big table from him. Who says a dollar amount first? I'll answer that first, and but I'll start with the where the process begins okay. on the organization side. The agent throws it out first, usually. Okay. Right. Do you have a number that the owner gave you? So here, here's how the process starts from day one. The pro department, Brandon Hunt, Dave Pettit, and Dan Colbert. Those guys do advance report, and they basically grade everybody that has significant playing time in the league. So what you do at the end of the year, you say, T.J. Watt is a free agent. We have him comparable to, and I'm just throwing this out there, in my, Joey Bosa. Okay. So right there, you say, if Joey Bosa and T.J. Watt are the same, that's the range you're going to have to pay. And that's probably the floor. So you go into Art and say, you give it to Kevin, say, this is the comparables. T.J. Bosa, maybe both Bosa brothers, whatever. These are the comparables. Kevin takes it into art and say, this is the range we're going to have to do set to be in. What's the ceiling? Art sets the ceiling. Then Kevin gets with Omar and says, bring those guys in. They fly in the jet. All right. What are you guys thinking? They'll start high. We steal or start low. You come in the middle. Now, the biggest issue now, especially lately with the way the contracts are being structured is how the Steelers don't really guarantee that much. So the structure is Ask going Le'Veon to be Bell about yes, that, the right? structure is going to be the tricky part. The figures are pretty much everybody should be in line with. 
But this is where Omar Khan makes his money. He's got to structure it that bene- that the benefits the organization and follows their what they like to do and is acceptable so for the player. This is why the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore um, Ravens are shaking in their boots over what happened in Dallas with the quarterback situation. Yes. They see a comp- It's like when you sell a house. You see a comparable mm-hmm. set, mm-hmm. and you go, "Oh my gosh, a house down the street just went for eight fifty. This is good. Time for to me. move, kids. Right, let's <laughs> yeah, right. go. Right. Let's go." Um, but then you're trying to move into that house. You go, I got to pay eight fifty for this house. I don't. Yes. So it's the same process, like same that. process. Yes. So if T.J. Watt and his agent come to the to the Steelers and say, uh, you, like you laid the the comp out as Joey Bosa, Bosa got one thirty five over five years, twenty seven a year, seventy eight guaranteed though. Yes. Do you walk in and say, listen, I don't care what numbers you want to put on paper, guys. You can tell me thirty a year. You can tell me twenty five a year. Whatever. I want eighty million guaranteed. Are the Steelers going to be able to structure a contract that works for them and T.J. Watt? Get your popcorn ready. We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could, yeah, is I it, mean, could you, it get you, that contentious over the it, next four weeks? It could. It could. And, and, and the point being is the agent has every right to say this is our floor. And the Steelers, have, they know that. It's just can they get creative enough to satisfy the agent and how he can sell it to T.J.? Because T.J., you know – those players know what's going on and mm-hmm. what Joey's got. And he says, Oh, they're looking I, at spot track just like we absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yeah. They're going to say, I'm as good or better than that guy. So I got, and then Joey signed it, what, last year or two years ago? Year, yeah, year and a half ago. Year and a half ago? Yeah. yeah. So add two to 3% right there just for inflation. Well, do the Steelers have to well, change? I five now. Do the Steelers have to change this? Yeah, we've do talked about this. Is it way, antiquated? Yeah. That they when, won't go into a season and negotiate. That the time when you get on the airplane. Well, well no, not to, even not even that. No. The bon- I'm talking about the bonus. Well, that too, but the bonus thing. Right. I, I like- think the bonus things are bigger than than the timeline. And they've had that precedence from day one. So every agent knows that they're they're okay with that. And, the game and, one week yeah, one week and, one starts and, a, and we're done talking. And a deadline actually helps you. Okay. It puts more pressure to get the thing done. If it's a rolling deadline. People what like, about ah, what Jim said then? With with no, more money, that that's that's going to be interesting. There, because the NFL is basically going to guarantee salaries. They're I, I think they're going to struggle, and it may happen to be a point where they lose a TJ Watt and finally say, "Hey, we're going to have to do something different." You have well, to evolve. It, well, and they have evolved in so much as you know the the Ben Roethlisberger extension, the you know restructuring Never Ebron was. and other people, and putting the voidable years on the end of deals that they never did that before. Right. So if they're showing that it, they never traded a first round pick right. for, for an All Pro d- defensive player, they'll just before. move Heath's pay down. Heath is getting <laughs> Heath, pay, Heath is still, Miller's still, getting paid till twenty seventy six. He's the new Bobby Bonilla. Yeah, he's the new Bobby. Yeah, Heath Miller Day. That's what we got to celebrate. <laughs> but I mean, are they evolving quickly enough though, Doug? And I think that's the question. Are they yeah. evolving quickly enough that they don't have to be faced with the loss of someone important like a, a TJ Watt? That they say, oh, yeah, we know eighty million guaranteed. As much as it's gonna, as much as we're gonna worry and fret over year two and year three and how healthy he can stay and all that, and are they going to be able to, to go that far? I think the, the compromise is the three-year guarantee because that, that's when, when I last, 2017, that was what we were concentrated on, the APY, the total guarantee, but more importantly, the three-year guarantee because after three years, then that's where you can start restructuring and throwing voidables. You can do a lot of other things to mitigate the rest of that. And, and because of the fully guaranteed, you can say, fully guaranteed for injury, right. skill, cap. You can throw some language in there to give you a little out. So I think that I think they will and they have to. They, yeah. I mean, it's just that's that's well that's yeah, where's the leverage on their yeah, side? That's hey, that's the price of doing business these they days. They gotta kinda hand them a blank check almost. <laughs> yeah. Eighty million guaranteed, one hundred and fifty over five years. Church this morning about this. People don't know this. People are listening in their car. They don't know the process. No, it's great stuff. Really, it is. It's incredible. Doug Whaley with us every Wednesday during the football season for an entire hour from nine to ten a.m. Starting today, the former Buffalo Bills GM giving us insight. We talked about the quarterbacks earlier, what the depth chart decisions look like, what the contract negotiations look like right now with T.J. Watt and the Steelers front office. And, well, there, there are questions as well uh, from outside of Pittsburgh. We'll hit Doug with one about a place where he's worked before. And more about contract extensions, too, because I have a question about a guy who's a rookie, and you would think we wouldn't even talk about an extension for this guy yet. But I think it's an interesting question about whether it makes sense or not down the road. It's all on the way. Wednesdays with Whaley here on the Fan Morning Show. Hey, Gary, how are things? 
Things are great, but I crushed my mortgage payment with owning without even leaving my couch. I got a no closing cost refi at a great low rate, and owning did it all in less than three weeks. It was easy. No muss, no fuss. Be like Gary. Call owning at 855-5-OWNING and crush your mortgage payment with today's 15-year fixed refi at 1.875% rated APR with no closing costs. None. Zero. Even if you've refinanced recently, call 855-5-OWNING and let us crush your monthly payment even more. That's 855-5-OWNING or log on to owning.com. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, subject to credit approval. Call 833-852-6464 for terms and conditions. You can crush it, too, with a 15-year fixed 1.875% rated APR with absolutely no closing cost. Hang on, what are you doing with that paint? Uh, recycling? Paint can't be recycled. Actually, paintcare.org says it can. Let me see. Huh, and there's a drop-off site close by. And it's free? Nice. Dad, no. Hey, we're the hosts of Pod Save America. Every week we break down the political news that makes us laugh, cry, and scream into the void with a conversation that's entertaining, informative, and hopefully useful. We try to be serious without taking ourselves too seriously because we all have to stay in the fight. Democracy is under attack, and there's a whole right-wing machine that's counting on the rest of us to give up and check out, and we can't let them win. So join us. New episodes of Pod Save America drop Mondays and Thursdays. Listen for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Odyssey, or wherever you get your podcasts.